I never like actually was in a studio until about a year ago. Uh, just a year ago, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, around November, December of last year. And so would you say that you've been, um, it was singing, it's, it's always been something? Singing has been my whole life. It, the first video I've ever seen of myself, I was like six. And I'm singing Grenade by Bruno Mars. Oh, <laughs> I've been singing for as long as I could realize I knew how to. But in private though, where nobody can hear you. In the shower. Oh yes, I sing in the shower. Um, I sing in my room. I sing under my breath while I cook and I clean. Um, it actually gets on a lot of people in my family's nerves because I never stop. <laughs> they love it, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah, at least you're doing free enough because that's where the ideas would come from. You know? So, at what point did you? Realize you needed to go to the studio. Did somebody invite you? Um, yeah, Chad Pack. He invited. He invited me. Um, Focus for one. Yeah, studio. he grew up with my mom, and yeah. so I just know a lot of people in the studio just because I grew up around them. Yeah. And um, Chad was obsessed with my vocals. And it was like, hey, well, we need to get it, get you in there ASAP. Yeah, and so I actually, the very first thing I did in the studio was I wrote this little song to a YouTube beat, and um, I recorded it. Obviously, we never actually edited it, it but... It's okay, that's, that's how it started. It, it was really good, and um, I like it. I just have to find an actual beat now to put and it what to. was the name of it? Um, Broken Dreams. Um, yeah. And, um, you know, I struggle with a lot, and I have a lot of um, <laughs> dark past, so, I don't know. Don't, felt, we, don't we all? Yeah, it felt really nice to actually write something, and people like it. <laughs> Not to mention, I imagine, it was, uh, was it great to be able to get it off your chest? What did you express a lot in that song to where you, um, you told a story, backstory on everything, right? Yeah. And I think actually my favorite part of being in the studio my first time was that, you know, when you sing out loud, it sounds way different. Um, just hearing yourself in your head sounds way different. And so hearing my own voice recorded and played on a computer and like all of the things, I hear it on my phone. Like I'm somebody's ringtone. <laughs> oh, there you go. And that's just so cool to me. That's like a, it's an honor, right? Yeah, <laughs> it really is an honor. Um, it's a blessing. I um, I never planned on being a musician. Everybody has always told me, "Oh, Kendall, you should sing. You should record yourself. You should make. You should do YouTube. You should do this." It's not really my thing, but I love to sing. And if singing, if my singing makes people happy, then I'll do it. That's right. I like to make people happy. And it wasn't originally your thing, but like now, it's something you're gonna continue. To yes. Do. It, um, originally, when they first told me, like when Simonk told me he wanted to collab, I did not know how I felt about that. Yeah. I kind of didn't want him to actually put my name on it. Um, I was be. just going to let him have all the credit and hit, let him be like, oh no, she doesn't want her name out. But, yeah. I don't know. I, you embraced it. Yeah, I embraced it. I really like it. Um, I love being in the studio. I love the energy. I love the people. Um, it's a great environment. Like the music scene yeah. is definitely for me. <laughs> nice. It's, it's cool to see uh, you go from one, from the left all the way to the right. You know what I mean? And it wasn't because somebody swayed you or anything. It's because you saw that this is this is like your thing now. Yeah. When you never probably would have guessed it. Right? Yeah, like now I have, I get to hang out with so many different people and meet so many new people. Um, I go and do things that I probably would have never done before because I probably would still be in my bedroom all day. <laughs> no, we gotta get out. Let the sun hit you and, and do something new. Yeah, it definitely made me more sociable. Yeah, that's right. So at first you used to just be quiet all the time. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, yeah. If, if, not, if not singing at home. Yeah, I didn't like to talk to people outside of my home. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Well, it's family, right? Yeah. So, the song that uh, you did with Simon, what was the name of that? Um, we did two. Okay. And so, 
the one that has the music video already out now is Can't Take No More. Check um, I'm hot in the music video. I've been cramming for my exams to get my GED, so <laughs> I couldn't be in it. With but priorities though, you yeah. know what I'm But the music video is great. I watched it. Um, I gotta give props. Like, it's beautifully done. Um, and the other song is The Show. <laughs> <laughs> that came after? Yes, before, it's, okay. um, it came right after. Can't Take No More was the very first one we did, and then he wanted me to do another one that they could... I want to say that Simon said they connect. <laughs> like, they lead into each other. Yeah, yeah, which is, that sounds brilliant, as a matter of fact. So, thinking ahead, Simon sounds like you know what he's doing, too, so trust me. Not everybody's trying to link things together like that, so yeah. Yeah, I, just like you say, you go with the flow. Yeah, go with the flow on that one. Because I, I can see the next one's going to be even even better just with that type of approach. So. Yeah, I love him, honestly. Um, the songs were so much fun to work on. And there are so many little background noises that I hear <laughs> that we got to do. Um, try harmonies, things like that. Like, I really picked the part, picked the song part. Like. There you go. I dissected it. <laughs> you developed the you developed the ear for the music. Yeah, well, I've always kind of been that way about music, just not my own. Yeah. Um, I was in choir for ten years, so I love to sing. Uh, choir was my favorite thing in school. The only the only thing I was good at. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I guess that it encouraged me more. Because I've, I've always been a performer. I'm not shy, like, in the sense of standing on stage. Yeah. Um, when I was a little kid, I sang for my mother in the middle of a restaurant oh, wow. for her birthday. Well, and yeah, you were bold. You were bold, all right. I might not like to talk, but I love to sing. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. And so, do you see yourself probably, what, working on an, an album? Or you just do features until you get yeah, to that I, point? I will do features, like, I'm open to do them, but I do have some stuff cricket. Um, some not a whole lot, right but yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll um, see, and right now is the opportunity that everybody know, hey, it's coming, so y'all be on the lookout, know who you are, and be ready, you know? Um, the genre of music is uh, what? Like you, you like R and B? You like? I rock, love every everything. genre of music. I can sing pretty much any genre, including uh, metal. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. no some, there's, a, there's a genre for everything. Now. I I do love to sing. Um, I wouldn't. I don't. Wouldn't know what to label myself. You know, no. You, you're, you're versatile. Yes. Yeah. Very versatile. Um, and and to topics of, of songs, I mean, majority of the time when you write, what would you write about? Um, like I said, I went through a lot of things in my childhood, and so it made it very hard to understand who I was as a person. Right. Like, by the time I was 15, I realized I have no concept of my personality at all. I have no idea who I am. Yeah. And so I really started to dig deep. and search I wanted to know who is Kendall what does she do yeah. um, I love to sing I love recreational activities um, like hiking I love to go camping um, honestly it's hard to describe like I write about everything under the sun but I like to be very poetic um, so you probably won't get that I'm just writing about my very first date or something, like... There's substance to it. It's, it's, it has yes. layers to it. Yes, I want you to be able to get your own meaning from my lyrics. Because um, I don't want you to just think, oh, I can't relate to this, but I like the song for its beat, but the lyrics aren't for me. I want you to like the beat, I want you to attach yourself to the lyrics, yeah. and feel them the way I feel them. That's what that, that's what uh, identifying with the music's all about. So. And with Map Digital Magazine touching on music plus art, you did say something earlier about how you paint from time to time. What was your motivation for 
for painting and what got you into that? Um, honestly, I have a lot of anxiety and I have um, PTSD and so it makes it, it makes it really hard to be a normal human as I like to say. Sometimes you just get so stressed out and you just can't think and so I just got a, a canvas and some watercolor paints and painted the sunset. Best I could do it by memory. By memory, oh nice. And then, obviously, I grew up watching Bob Ross, so one thing I learned from him is how to make trees. Yeah. And so I can make a sunset with trees, like shadows of trees, no problem. all day. All yeah. day long. And that's usually just all I paint, but different times of day, like, I painted two little magnet ones the other night and one is like a sunset where the sky is red and blue mm. and then the other one is a stormy gray sky and it's got birds in it. <laughs> birds, so there, there you go. And so with the music and art, would you, especially with you saying, because first of all everybody has issues whether or not they admit it or not. So yeah. We'll start with that because that's a fact. That's hashtag facts. But, uh, what does music and art do for you? Do you feel like you probably emptied your... You music have, saved my life. <laughs> it saved your life? You, don't have, you have less Very on your seriously. shoulders? Very seriously saved my life. Um, I have been obsessed with many artists in my life, but um, I got to actually meet a celebrity. Her name is Haley Kiyoko. And I don't know, her music helped me a lot growing up because I struggled with my sexuality and my like my identity a lot and I got to meet her and tell her you know like your music helped me understand who I am yeah and What's about? yeah um, I love music I love art um, I'm very emotionally moved by music and art yeah. movies um, I'm a very sensitive person it's Honestly. a good thing. It's a good thing. It's strength in that. Whether you, whether anybody wants to admit it, it is because you gotta have. If you don't have feeling, you numb the stuff, and you can't make other people well, feel it. I fully believe that. Right. You you want to be as authentic as you can be. That's right. Um, I do get teased a lot for being sensitive. Um, oh, you're you're super sensitive. Yes, super sensitive. But. Um, I, I wear it like a badge of honor, I guess. That's right, that's right. Tell them that they can't do it. How come they can't do it, right? Right? Oh. Like you're just mad because you don't feel you the way I feel. You don't feel at all, right? <laughs> so uh, what's coming up for you? I mean, uh, I know you say you're working on some songs. Uh, they're, they're more solo projects or more, or are they like on the collaboration side? As of right now, I do plan on getting back in the studio and doing some solo projects. I want to work on my first album. I would like to get it out. Um, I'd like to figure out my, my style because I haven't fully got to explore my talents yet necessarily because I've been working with Sima and other people do have like a waiting list. There's a waiting list for me. Yeah. Well, there's that's exciting because it's, it's self-discovery still. Yeah. We always got to be learning as we, you know, as the days go by. So, and you all, you're gonna like what you see, I'm sure. So. Yeah. There's um, all sorts of people from the studio want me to collab with them. Not everybody wants to work with people, so you should take that as a good thing. I know. You know tell, them, tell them, well, I don't know, let me check my schedule, right? Tell them, tell them, you can tell them you'll pencil them in. So. Um, I do, I do want to work on my new album, because I haven't figured out exactly what my style is as um, an artist or as a musician. Um, I do want to incorporate my ukulele into my music at some point. I don't play very great, but I do want it in there somewhere. Somebody likes that. Now the ukulele is part of you, obviously, so it's, it, it's an extension of yourself, so there you go. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, is there any particular message that you probably have for your fans, potential fans, as well as, um, you know, just a shout out of any kind anyway. um well a message is even when all motivation is lost do not give up 
even if you feel like you're on your last leg, just take a minute, take a breather, and you've got it. You've got it, it's already in your hand. You just gotta wrap your hand around it. Yeah, okay. And a shout out. I would like to shout out my little sister. She just turned 17 and I love her to death. What's her name? Her name is Kelsey. Kelsey, that's what I'm talking about. There's a shout out, you're gonna see this and uh, smile because you didn't expect it. So, well, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. It's crew with Lecture Ground, Map Digital Magazine. This is King D, and we out.